Hello and welcome to the Visions Designs YouTube channel, the channel where you get to see all the things I can't. So today means we're in the middle of a uh, rather uncommon heat wave for Britain. I figured I'd do a review on my industrial grade desk fan here. This is the SIP 24 inch industrial grade fan. So yeah, let's go over uh, what this thing's good for then. If we start with the stats for this thing then. So it consumes 250 watts of electric on high speed and moves at that speed uh, 220 cubic meters per minute of air. Um, got two speed settings. Uh, obviously it's a 24 inch. Also has wheels. So let's see the left side. So that's when moving it around as long as you're on a nice flat level surface, moving it across grass, it tends to try and tip itself over. Um, cable's not overly long, so you always gotta make sure to have an extension lead nearby it. Um, you really don't wanna be using this outside or having it trying to draw dust out because it's on the IP20 rated. So I originally got this to use in my marquee um, while I was waiting for my kiln to be finished, uh, constructed. Um, I figured I needed some wood drying and the marquee was basically an oven as it was. So I'll put a fan in there to try and circulate the air. Um, main problem with doing that is things like this are designed to move a lot of air, but they don't have a lot of pressure behind them. So if you're trying to um, blow fit this thing through uh, radiators or any form of stack, what's happening is it's going at it and then bouncing off around it. Um, so yeah, for those sorts of purposes, they're pretty terrible. What I use it for now then, um, after leaving it in storage for a while, is to cool us down. Um, so during this heat wave, it's, uh, well, that's what it's meant for, um, cooling things down. Uh, yeah, we tend to put it, uh, well, just outside the workshop, which is, um, the entrance is in the shade and have it blow in to cool it down. Um, or in the morning, before the sun hits the workshop, we put it um, on the desk here to cool us down. Um, the fact it doesn't swivel, so this is a solid frame here, is a little bit frustrating. Uh, I wish I'd gone for one that uh, actually swivels up and down, because on the floor, it tends to get be getting uh, our legs, whereas uh, doing it high up to actually cool you down in general. The other thing we're thinking of using it for is when grinding to blow at us and thus blow the dust away from us when we're outside. Um, as I said, you don't really want it to be pulling the dust away from you because it'll um, wear down the bearings. So yeah, it's again something to consider for it. Right, so I figured I'll uh, turn it on now, see um, if you can Try and roughly gauge how loud this thing is when it's in use. I'll carry on talking while it's on and I'll hold some sawdust in front of it and see how much it uh, blows out my hand. Get my bucket here. So. camera operator for blasting dust in their face. I uh, figured if, uh, we'd do another demonstration of just how far back you can feel the effects of the fan with a piece of paper. So my workshop's seven meters long, see how far back you can um, still get affected by the fan. Hopefully those demonstrations came out well on camera then. So yeah, it'll uh, pretty much uh, cool the entire workshop, seven meters long. Uh, probably can go further than that, to be honest. So who's this for? Well, anyone with a large area, they want cooling down. Um, I said it before, I 
really think that um, this would have been a lot better if the fan swiveled to where you want it to go. Um, because it's a little bit of a pain as it is. So if you're thinking of getting one, try and find one that swivels. Um, from what I recall, when I was trying to uh, buy this, there's a bigger version of it, but for the extra amount of power it consumed, it didn't produce as much a difference in airflow. So the 24 inch one seemed a better value. Um, so again, with the sawdust I tried to show before, big chippings, not really very good, but fine dust, it does a good job of moving. So again, if you have this blowing at you when you're doing some sanding, so it blows the dust away from you and clears the space you're at, it's a good idea for that, because you don't want the dust blowing being pulled through it, because it'll wear down the bearings. So hopefully this video has been helpful, especially during this heat wave, as long as the heat wave's still on, knowing Britain. And uh, yeah, hopefully this has been helpful. Right, so thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, don't forget to check out the website, visionlessdesigns.com, where you'll find all my products to help support the channel, as well as links to all my social media and Etsy store. Links are also in the description below. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. See you in future videos.